Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 8 o'clock session of the 2020 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are happy to introduce a presentation called Hybrid Tech, or How Do I Reach Thee? Let Me Count the Ways. Our speaker is James Neville, Sidearm Madonna. James G. Neville is owner of online media service at Development One LLC, online presence, and he's a consultant and practitioner in applied online collaboration, virtual reality, and social media. Please check out the website found at conference.opensimulator.org for speaker bios, details of the sessions, and the full schedule of events. The session is being live streamed and recorded, so if you have questions or comments during the session, please send tweets to at OpenSimCC with the hashtag pound OSCC20. Well, welcome everyone. Let's begin the session. Ladies and gentlemen, good day. I look at the sea of electronic presences in front of me. Good day and welcome to the hybrid tech. How do I reach the let me count the ways presentation sponsored by the Open Simulator Conference 2020. A few housekeeping items first. This presentation will be in text as well as voice. And I realize these information displays are a bit dense for those familiar with using alt click or option click to zoom in on them. Please do so at your convenience. They are also available at our booth to examine more closely and to get more information at your leisure. In today's session, you will learn about hybrid tech through demonstrations of using laptop and mobile devices to access augmented reality, Web 2.0 and Web 3D applications and environments, all from within the open simulator environment. You will be invited to see how to use them yourself, for example, to spread the word about your own work and interests. Please hold your questions till the end or Type them in chat for follow-up. My avatar name is Sidearm, and as Lear introduced me, I am a practitioner in applied online collaboration. My specialties are systems analysis, online presence, social media, team building, and virtual reality. And my offline avatar is James G. Neville. Desktop, laptop, mobile, AR, MR, VR, XR. All of these technologies are expanding and developing and coming at us all at once. What is an avatar to do? Can humans handle these multiple technologies? In a word, yes. Hybrid tech means combining tools in optimal ways by playing to their strengths and mediating to their weaknesses relative to your use at hand. We are perfectly capable of handling hybrid tech and figuring it out as we go along with perhaps a little help from our friends. It reminds me of the old story when someone was asked, don't you feel humbled standing on a rotating earth orbiting the sun whizzing through the Milky Way, wandering through the universe? And they answered, not at all. In fact, I'm pretty darned amazing to be handling all this at once. The demonstrations in today's presentation can be done on desktop, laptop, smartphone, smart pad, even a VR headset, if you have one. And after today's presentation, you are invited to explore them and have fun and ask yourself, what could you do with these for your own purposes and uses? The issue is that we have multiple definitions and perceptions of what perceptual or per virtual reality is and its relative importance to real life in the areas of academics, arts, commerce, education, entertainment, government, and knowledge. It is up to us to use our priorities to drive how we use the technology 
not the other way around. Usefulness trumps coolness. Hybrid tech means combining tools in optimal ways by playing to their strengths and mediating to their weaknesses relative to the use at the hand. And so today, I present as examples three technologies that can be used and blended interchangeably relative to the use at hand. Let me invite you to see how to use them and spread the word about your own work. If I may direct your attention to the large center poster on the stage that I am now sitting next to. Our first demo is QR code technology. What is a QR code? It is that large blotchy looking pixelated square in the upper left. QR stands for quick response. A QR code is basically a two dimensional barcode. It was invented in Japan in 1984 for vehicle manufacturing tracking. It was inspired by the game of Go and it is now all over the world. Where have you seen QR codes in everyday use? Starbucks, anyone? May I now direct your attention to the first small placard on the left where my avatar is now sitting. Has anyone got their smartphone handy? I mean, like right now? If so, you could answer the question, where do these mystery QR codes go? If you're not sure how to find out, perhaps Captain Kirk, Scotty, and Mr. Spock here can help you with your smartphone as soon as they quit arguing about it. Better yet, directing your attention to the next placard, Why not make your own QR code? For example, make a scannable link to add to your online resume or include it in your business card or in your next conference presentation slide deck. Where might you use your own QR code to share your work? Moving on, let's go back to the center poster where I'm sitting again. Our next demo is AR code. What is an AR code? Well, here it is that blue t-shirt at the lower left. It has white printing on it, but that shirt looks different, completely different when viewed through that smartphone. AR stands for augmented reality, and it is basically looking at the real world using your mobile camera to add a digital overlay. Coined in 1990 by Boeing for aerospace research, AR has since expanded into multiple applications such as gaming, Pikachu, and industrial manufacturing. How many of you, audience response, have a smartphone? Please type yes in chat, or if you're on bingo, yell bingo. How many have a smartphone? <laughs> Yells bingo. I know, right? A lot of people, something like 80% in the US and Europe, already have smartphones with cameras capable of reading AR triggers here come the waves of yeses, that can lead to AR online assets. Five of them, Cyber Serenity says. That's a lot of phones. Let's move to the next small, first small packard on the right. This demo that Lear is sitting in front of, maybe Lear, could you just Move your chair a little bit towards the center or something. There you go. 
I didn't notice that before. This demo shows how any visual image can be set to act as an AR trigger, which leads to an AR online asset using your smartphone. Do any of you recognize this picture of a librarian and her avatar with books on her head? Who is she? Anybody know? Anybody know? Anybody? Anybody? Yes, yes, Lear recognizes, but Lear would. That's right. When this picture is viewed through a smartphone camera with the appropriate AR app, it will give you a pop-up menu with a direct link to her online virtual gallery. And the image, the picture, and the target, the gallery, can be changed at will. Any website, any online presence, any online interactive experience can be reached this way. A lot of yeses there. What if your photo, your photo, linked directly to your professional CV or a gallery of your work? I direct your attention to the last placard on the right. Our third and final demo is WebXR. What is WebXR? Well, here it is two pictures, one horizontal and one vertical, of some kind of three-dimensional walk-in space. XR stands for cross reality. WebXR allows seeing the same virtual world across multiple devices and operating systems. This demo shows how you can use a desktop URL or a smartphone QR code to enter an online web world called Frame. The first picture was taken from a laptop. The second picture was taken from a smartphone yet they are the same room. In frame, you can upload and display images, videos, 3D models, and 3D animations. You can meet with others and conference there using voice, desktop, screen share, and webcam. Frame does not care what device you use to get there. That is WebXR. What if your URL link, QR code, or AR trigger image linked directly to an online 3D walkthrough gallery of your work? The latest book you're writing, the latest results of your research, your current business, and what if you could meet with people there live on an instance notice? I realize that in this fast paced walkthrough, there has been little time to try these demos yourselves hands on. I hope, however, they have piqued your interest. What has caught your attention? All of these interactive placards are on display at booth 21 with clickable URLs, scannable QR codes, and viewable AR image triggers to explore and have fun and learn to use at your leisure. Please visit Booth 21 if you're interested in trying the demonstrations further. And with your permission, may I direct your attention to some particular presentations occurring today and tomorrow that I feel are relevant to hybrid tech. These include the sessions today at 1.30 Pacific which will feature the librarian from the demo. Also, 4.30 p.m., which will feature SUNY Empire, which was my first sponsor for this talk. Also, 5.30 p.m., which is the Vicara, Vicara XR Symposium, which was my second sponsor for this talk, and we'll be talking further about web worlds. Tomorrow, 12 noon, the future panel, which we'll talk about multiple platforms. There's some hybrid tech for you. 
with Mal Burns moderating. And finally, 4.30 p.m., another presentation where I will be with two co-presenters talking about not just blending technologies of devices and platforms, but technologies of process simulation and multimedia communication. The rest of the conference I leave up to you. I'm looking forward to it as much as you are. And this concludes the hybrid tech, how do I reach the, let me count the ways presentation. Did you see ways to use and blend these technologies to spread the word about your work? I would like to thank Lauren Lameau of Bundlar for providing the custom AR demo using the picture of Val Librarian. And I would like to thank all of you for your time and attention. Thank you, Sidar. What a wonderful session. Bravo. You know, DJ Phil asks, where is the Web XR APK? What is an APK? <laughs> app? Is that what you're asking? The um, you can download the app by using the uh, the QR code above Val's picture. Once you once you download the app, it will work with multiple uh, codes. There's a code you enter for everything. You're welcome. Any yeah. other questions, please direct them uh, in an IM to our speaker. And thank you for a terrific presentation. As a reminder to our audience, you can see what's coming up on the conference schedule. Oh, I do see another question from DJ Phil. He says, hey, is that free or open source? Uh, the uh, I will refer you to the Bundlar <laughs> website and Lauren Lameau. Uh, she is coming to the conference today and I will forward your question to her. Um, they are very open to doing um, test projects together and Val is featuring this at her Kaching CVL library. If you want to, besides booth 21, also check out the CVL library and she has some AR books happening. Wonderful, thank you. As a reminder to our audience, you can see what's coming up on the conference schedule at conference.opensimulator.org. Following this session, the next session will begin at 8.30 a.m. in this keynote region, and it's entitled Senses Places. As we encourage you to visit the OSCC Poster Expo in the OSCC Expo Region 3, to find accompanying information on presentations and to explore the hypergrid tour resources in OSCC Expo 2, along with our sponsor and our crowdfunder booths located throughout all five of the OSCC Expo regions. Thank you again to Sidearm and to you, the audience.